Hey everyone out there, welcome back to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And we want to talk today about panel pricing and how the media will tell you it's dropping, it's falling. Now, honestly, it has. It has dropped substantially over the years. However, right now and for the last two, two or three quarters, it really hasn't dropped all that much. And, and, and honestly, what we're looking at, and, and again, I'm looking at this from uh, from an installer's point of view. So I know what we pay, you know, for, for panels per watt and whatnot per, or per modular. Uh, but when you're looking at the pricing from six months ago to today, it hasn't really moved. Um, now the volumes have changed, the amount of solar being installed has changed. Obviously there are some new efficiency thresholds that are being broken. You have a couple of companies now going way past 20, 22%. You have some now touching 24 and 25. Um, and these are no longer just one or two companies. This is quite a few. Now, when those become commercially viable and actually hit the shelves, that'll be a different story. We'll see what those pricing are at. However, I do believe pricing is actually gonna start going up. The cost of materials, the labor to make these, the rent or mortgages and the facilities that they're being built within, the insurances for these businesses, all these costs are indeed going up on a continual basis. Yes, the economy is, is pretty much trading sideways right now. Um, I think we've bottomed out from there. But all things, when you're looking at it under a microscope, I do believe that the price is actually going to either trade sideways or start to come back up. I don't see it dropping too, too much unless there is some type of new material being utilized in which to make a solar either as efficient or more efficient that is more readily available and cheaper to use. So what we're going to watch going forward is with the ITC dropping to the 4% uh, in just a couple more months, what happens to panel pricing then from the manufacturers? That's a concern for everybody because the panels are actually the largest cost within solar. It's not customer acquisition and it's not labor. It's actually the, the material product of, of, uh, of the modules. So. We'll keep an eye on it, and uh, any questions or concerns, please reach out, leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel, let us know if you'd like us to do any videos in your request in the renewable industry, and uh, we'd like to do that for you. So with all that, thank you for watching the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.